Mos Eisley. You will not find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy anywhere in the sector. Mos Eisley had nothing on the city of Chicago. Personally, I hope they burn the entire rat's nest to the ground. The fact that the DNC chose this city to have its convention is proof. There's absolutely no redeeming value whatsoever. Sit back, pop some popcorn, and watch the show. Florida Marquis, don't you think you're being a little... No. It is a cancer on the face of North America, a pollutant, an infectant, that we would all be better off without. People like to focus on the East Coast, New York and Washington, D.C., and you know what goes on in Hollywood and L.A. and San Francisco. Trust me, right out here in the middle way worse. I'm sure a lot of you are probably agreeing with me. Yes, where Obama came from. It's like, oh, you have no idea how much worse it could have been. Battlefield of the mind. Sometimes you've just got to cut the cancer out and hope it doesn't come back. Sometimes you have to do that with your mind as well. You have to just get rid of things that people try to hold on to because they think there might be at some point some Redeeming value. How many of you ever met a hoarder? How many of you ever met a true hoarder that kept every little piece of trash that ever crossed their paths and they'll sit in their filth? That city is full of them. That city is full of them. It's a horrible play. But Florida Monkey, don't you think there might be some redeeming? Not in the sense that... Uh, for the amount of damage that it's doing, get rid of it. I hope the protesters burn it to the ground. And you can say you heard it here first. We'd love to have you at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, where we talk about psychological operations. And believe me, you are going to see them on Major League Display this week. If you'd like to get read in, if you'd like to get brought up to speed on the tactics and the techniques and what's going on with both sides of the political spectrum right now, Join us. It's only one U.S. dollar. That's it. One single U.S. dollar per month. Even less, though, if you sign up for an entire year and fully refundable for 90 days. No questions asked. There is a $5 level. We do have some folks that have signed up recently over there. Thank you. God bless you. I very, very much appreciate the help. Once again, you also get the discount, the annual discount. If you sign up at the $5 level, there's a handful of videos over there for the $5 folks, but I'll warn you. You're probably going to want to warm up with the $1 ones first before taking that plunge because that's a whole new level. Now, let's get right to it. This is the free market revolution is the idea that the economic freedom can flourish only in an America that celebrates selfishness. The individual's pursuit of his rational or irrational long-term self-interest as a virtue. Yaron Brook. Friedrich Hayek, it is necessary in the first instance that the parties in the market should be free to sell and buy at any price at which they can find a partner to the transaction, and that anybody should be free to produce, sell, and buy anything that may be produced or sold at all. And it is essential that the entry into the different trades should be open to all on equal terms, and that the law should not tolerate any attempts by individuals or groups to restrict this entry by open or concealed force. Now, free market people are like, dang right, dang right, dang right, absolutely right. I'm sure a lot of you don't really appreciate the uh, images that I show regarding this new thing called OnlyFans in America. And some of you said, Florida Marquis, don't you know the vast majority of women that join that platform, they just make a pittance. They just make a tiny amount. You see, what they've done is they've taken everybody who's over at the platform who's making zero, and then they've added them into the averages. If you take away all the zeros, and then you take away all the 1%, you get this story. 22% rise in accounting services for OnlyFans contributors. London-based accountants for has seen a 22% increase in inquiries from clients who contribute to a platform known as OnlyFans. Now, if you're only making 180 bucks a month, you don't have to worry about an accountant. 
massive meteoric rise in this. And what does this have to do with anything? Why am I talking about it? Why am I leading with it? Henry Rollins nailed it. America's real safety net is drugs, alcohol, cheap food, and free porn. And the reason you are seeing what you're going to see with all of these protests is because the cost of things has interfered with the the ability of these people to buy their drugs, to buy their alcohol, to get their food. And believe me, you take away that last one, you think these riots are bad? Just wait. Just wait. Five and a half minutes, enough of that. Florida Maquis, why don't you talk about Antarctica anymore? Don't you think that would be a better path to go? Believe me, I would love nothing more than for the algorithm on this platform to do what it did with my Antarctica videos back in 2018 and 2019. You'd never hear me talk about politics again. You might never hear me talk about psychological operations ever again. But that's not what's happening. Florida Maquis, it was such great content. Well, in this video, I'm going to show what we discovered, not everything, but just enough so that people can understand why, why I had to shift the content. You see, look at this image. This image is created by artificial intelligence of what perhaps an ancient castle in Antarctica might have looked like. When I saw the picture created by AI, this one absolutely made my jaw drop. Well, Florida Maquis, it's kind of generic. It's got, you know, you got mountains around it. There's ice and, you know, there's a tower and, you know, there's nothing special about it. There wouldn't be anything special about it if this weren't an actual image using Google Earth Pro from the surface of Antarctica. Remember, that continent where there has never been any human civilization ever of any kind? This is an actual shadow that was caught by satellites. And it looks like they were trying to hide something, but they forgot to hide the shadow of it. This looks like a classic cover-up operation that they just dropped the ball. Hey, those of you who think that everything is all being super controlled by the government and they would never let this, that, and the other. Did you see what just happened with uh, the Secret Service in Pennsylvania? Something happened a while back that shows that the Secret Service, the infallible, super strong federal government, is not infallible. Could it possibly be that the folks who are in charge of Google Earth Pro and hiding things maybe put on a diversity hire that day who didn't quite catch everything they were supposed to catch. This one was staring people right in the face in Florida. This, on the left, of course, as we know, is the continent of Antarctica at the South Pole. Over here, virtually the exact same shape is somehow been carved out on an island off of the west coast of Florida, just south of St. Pete. The dimensions, everything, are all perfect for what the continent actually looks like underneath the ice. We found that. Florida Marquis, that's not proof of anything. Okay. Setting on the ice in another location in Antarctica, we found what looked like an experimental aircraft. Now, at the time, the two images on the right hadn't come out yet. And I made an allegation of some SR-71 hybrid or some version of it. And, of course, everybody said, oh, the, the jets are too small. And, the you know, it's just not the right. It's the exact same length. We went into the video. And you can go to the Florida Maquis channel, find the Antarctica playlist, hundreds of videos. And you can find the thumbnails for all these things that I'm going to show you today. And there's an entire video dedicated to each one of them. But lo and behold, some years later, after we found this, we have these images that have come out. 
and they look an awful lot like what we found on the surface of Antarctica, especially this one. And these are real aircraft now. They are real aircraft. Where better a place to test them? Oh, but it keeps going. Who remembers the issue with the Nimitz, the Nimitz encounter? The F-18 pilots who encountered what have now been coined the Tic Tac craft. They gave very specific and detailed measurements of the craft, the shape, and the color. And then lo and behold, on the surface of Antarctica, we found an exact craft just like this docked at a hangar. <coughs> Pardon me. And when we went to measure it, using the tools on Google Earth Pro, there it was. The exact same dimensions, exact same shape and color as described by the Navy pilots. Upper picture. Science has said there have been these creatures that existed a long time ago who basically had the giant body of a whale but flippers like a seal and a huge head. And every about three to four months, they push up the upper limit of the size of how big these creatures are. And lo and behold, lower image, laying on the surface of Antarctica, we discovered this in 2018. Virtually the exact same thing. Another AI image of what Antarctica might look like once all the ice melts. And believe me, they are having record temperatures down there right now that just have even, even the most, um, I guess, alarming estimates have been shattered of how fast Antarctica is losing ice. And this is what it might look like. Some might say that's got, you know, kind of the looks of perhaps ancient Greece. This image that you're looking at right here is another place in Antarctica where you can see a bunch of what seem to be walls and bases of buildings that once stood. I've kind of zoomed in and enhanced in the lower left here of what this looks like. And there was a movie that had created this building because there was this story about the the Germans fleeing there after World War II, and it looks an awful lot like it once you zoom in real close. Then, of course, there's the whole Game of Thrones dragon thing. This is where I kind of lost a lot of people. Lower right is the image of a head of a dragon laying on the ice in Antarctica. And, of course, upper right, Game of Thrones, the actual Drogon. On the side of a huge ice drift in Antarctica, we have here on the right what looks like the shape of a dinosaur. Large body, long neck, head at the end. We found this and very well established, Brontosaurus. Not really sure, this might be Diplodocus, I'm not sure. But that is what ancient man did. They scrawled these images. And we found it. Oh, and it keeps going. Saucer-shaped craft seen in the skies all over the world. Thousands and thousands and thousands of reports. And lo and behold, two different locations in Antarctica, one here and one here, we see perfect saucer-shaped craft just like what was described. Here's another one where you can kind of see the edge of it parked underneath the side of a rock ridge. In Antarctica, Google Earth Pro. Washington, D.C., giant obelisk, ancient Rome, Egypt. Every civilization had one. And in Antarctica, we found one that looks like it's carved right out of jade sticking up out of a cavern in Antarctica. One of my favorite finds, a huge footprint with four giant toe marks. Now, we found this one, and people thought, well, Florida Maki, you might be seeing things. You're seeing things. Not even a quarter of a mile away, we found a giant, actually a viewer, found a giant leg sticking out of the ice right here. And lo and behold, the giant leg that matches up size-wise with this footprint has one, two, three, four giant toes on it. 
The rest of the body's probably frozen under the ice. Pyramids. Everybody knows about the ones in the Middle East. At one time, they were coated with limestone and white. You have to understand, or you'd have to ask, I guess, perhaps not even understand, why would they have made them white? Why would they have coated them in limestone? That is all, of course, worn out over the the many, many millennia. And they were gold-tipped with electrum here in Antarctica. Once again, pyramid setting right on the ice. Easy to see. A sphinx as well. From the sky, we did an entire video on this. Did the measurements and the dimensions. Here's the front right paw, front left paw, the head. Just like the one in Egypt, this in our in Antarctica. Not hard to find. Go to the Google Earth Pro and use the coordinates that you'll find in the video at the Florida Maquis playlist, Antarctica playlist. There's hundreds of videos. It keeps going. This picture on the left is from the Peruvian rainforest. They use a special technique with LIDAR to strip away all of the vegetation to just see the lay of the land underneath. And they found this mountaintop fortress with three walls around it. Nobody knew it was there. Nobody knew who built it. But you have what are clearly two settlements. It looks like some, some type of agriculture and one wall, two walls, parapets, guard posts, and lo and behold, in Antarctica, this is one of the more popular ones that people know about. Exact same shape, top of a hillside. Giant ice dome collapse in the same shape. The bow of a ship sticking out of a crevasse in the ice in Antarctica. Unmistakable. You can almost even see the bow breaker. The Stargate. Of course, we know the series Stargate was fiction, but it was based on sound science. And lo and behold, what they created as this giant ringed gate, we found down on the surface of Antarctica in a place called the Mertz Ninnis Valley, where we found many other things. All around the world, people have described the greys, these alien creatures, gray with all black eyes. The lower left, the lower middle, and the upper right are all artist's renderings of what that might look like. But center top and lower right, those are two images from Antarctica. Which would make perfect sense, upper left, if you were existing under the ice and it was very low light, you would need to take in as much light as you could, hence the black eyes. Easter Island, the giant Moai heads. Why were they created? Why are there so many of them? Lo and behold, image on the right. Perfect representation of an Easter Island Moai head, continent of Antarctica. Another one of my favorites, might be my top favorite, Discovery. Where the tip of South America meets the Antarctic Peninsula, it looks like there was a giant catastrophic event that washed away a ton of land. Many maps from earlier than 1500 show that there was a connection between the tip of South America and what we know to be the Antarctic Peninsula. Well, strangely enough, the series Game of Thrones, there's a map that was created for the, I believe it was eight seasons of the series that talked about all of the different locations in the place. And when you look at the map they created, it is virtually identical, except what they call the north would be the south over here prior to a giant cataclysm. And once again, there was a passage in between the two. This is what I believe Drake found. I don't believe the story Game of Thrones was fiction at all. I believe it was lifted from a historical document, and that's why this series had to end so abruptly and so badly. There was a thing called the Summer Sea, just like the Argentine Sea. 
There was a place called the Narrow Sea. It would have been Drake's Passage. How we look at the peninsula of Antarctica would be exactly how they looked at the... Well, why was it called the North if it's the South? Pole Flip. Pole Flip could have done this and washed away an entire civilization. But maybe the records were found. And if you think that's too much of a reach... This image, this carved wood image on the left, is something the, uh, the Maori people in New Zealand created based on gods they believed lived and came from Antarctica. Now look at what they created. They created these carvings long before the creators of Game of Thrones created the Ice King. This is a character from the series. They created these images of men with all of these markings on their face and ice blue eyes. If they're not related, how, is, how, could, how could this possibly be explained? The image on the left is King Harald Harad from Norway. He ruled there from, how many of you saw the series Vikings? He was talked about. They said that he ranged all over the globe. Image on the right, found carved into a hillside in Antarctica. Virtual, identical image of a Viking king. How many of you remember? Face on Mars. Face on Mars. I recognize that. If you took the face on Mars and you turned it 90 degrees to the right, you would get the image here from Antarctica on the left. It is literally the face on Mars just turned 90 degrees. Actual skulls dug up and found. On the left, you can physically hold them with your hand. Image from Google Earth Pro on the right. Exact same skull. Another location, exact same skull. Another location, exact same elongated skull. Another location, same skull. Yet another location, same skull. Another one here. You see, I think we were getting a little bit too close. Getting a little bit too close to something that they didn't want people talking about. And so the algorithm had to shift. And all of a sudden, people started arguing about politics in my Antarctica videos. Wondering if I was trying to push some narrative about this or trying to distract. Oh, I love that. You're trying to distract people from the real truth of Donald Trump, blah, blah, blah. All this, it was just ridiculous. And I watched the video views go down and down and down and down and down to the point where I had to shift over to what people really wanted to talk about. And that was their orange god that they have bowed down and worshipped, and I've tried to point out specifically what's really going on and how hypocritical it is to talk about the free market in a country where you're basically a bunch of socialists and you don't even realize you're socialists because you want the government to intervene every time there's an interruption in your drugs, access to alcohol, if your food is a little bit more expensive than it has been in the past, time for more government intervention. Time for more federal government fixes. And I bring up the 800-pound gorilla in the room that's caused a massive, catastrophic collapse in the birth rate in this country. It's lot bottom one free... Oh, an end of the world. Channel almost got completely demonetized and destroyed just for telling the real truth about what's happening. This guy nailed it. The only reason you're going to see what you're going to see this week is because these thugs, and believe me, they're going to fit right in in Chicago. They're going to fit right in. The reason you're going to see what you're going to see is because there has been an interruption to the bread and circuses for this group of people. 
You're going to say, oh, it's about free Palestine, or oh, it's about oh Israel, this, that, and the other. That's bullshit. Bullshit. Food's not cheap anymore. People are going to have to start cutting back. And boy, I tell you what, tell a fat American that. <laughs> End of the world. Tell a fat, disgusting American, 40% obese American, three, four, five hundred pound American, that he has to, you know, not shovel 5,000 calories into his face every day, sleep for 12 hours, and might have to actually get up and do some work and skip a meal or two. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden, you're a, you know, you, you hate freedom. So believe me, when you're going to see this, it's going to be about an interruption. An interruption in the supply of drugs, supply of alcohol, supply of cheap food, and make no mistake about it. Make no mistake about it. If you wanted to watch this country burn in mass, get rid of the free porn and see what happens. That's the legacy of America right now. And like I said, if it was up to me, if it was up to me, I would love to do nothing but talk about the future in Antarctica. We'll have to rename the continent. The Chinese are down there. The Indians are down there. The Russians are down there. The Argentinians are down there. The Australians are down there. The U.S. has pretty much given up on it. And I believe it's primarily because there's a bunch of morons out there in this country who think it's the ice ring, which is just absolutely... Of course, Roseanne Barr believes it, so if Roseanne Barr believes in Flat Earth and she supports Trump, then therefore we should support... It's just ridiculous. So yeah, everything I showed you, every image, Google Earth Pro, all of them, There's something going on. There's something they're hiding from you. And I do believe it's an entire civilization. It's an entire civilization that they are hiding from the world. You know, they say, the Bible says, in the last days that strong delusion will be sent. I wonder if this is the, the strong delusion. That there's an entire place an entire place that is so isolated from the rest of the world that it's very easy to keep it hidden. And if it weren't hidden, people would start to ask questions. And it would probably show a history and change some people's attitudes about some things in a way that might be disruptive to the system that's in place right now. That's what ties these two things together. Some might think, man, you flip back and forth between one and that. It's tied. There's a group of people in power right now. And they want to stay in power. And they're in control of everything. And if this got out, it would destroy their credibility. It would destroy their power base. And it would cause a complete upheaval in the world. A shift that would be something that would leave an unrecognizable culture in its wake. And I'll leave it there. That's about all I can really say about it. Battlefield of the mind. God bless. Thank you guys so much for your support. Very, very much appreciate it. And I'll use this video as a bellwether. If after this video, talking about Antarctica, if I see a big uptick, either in the video views at YouTube or a big uptick at Patreon, I'll continue to talk about Antarctica. But if not, I've got to do what i got to do, just because, and you got to do what you got to do, just like you do. So I will leave it there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.